Hey guys, it's Kaler. In today's video, we're diving into Figma components and variants. Here's how you can master those to use them in your own Figma designs. Let's get started. All right, so real quick, check this out. I've got one local component, it's a button, and I've got two instances of it here. And I can use this to create new buttons very quickly. So let's say I want a search button. I can change my icon to a search icon. I can change what color I want it. So let's go with red. I don't want it to have text, so just the icon only. Let's give it a nice border radius. And so now I've got a nice search button. It's got a built-in hover interaction. And this is all thanks to Figma components and creating custom properties and variants of those components. To get started, let's create a button. So T on the keyboard, and I'll just give this a text of button. And I'm gonna surround this with an auto layout, so shift A, and that creates a frame with auto layout turned on. I'm gonna adjust my alignment and my different values. I'm setting my space in between and my horizontal and vertical padding to 12. Let's give this a new fill of white, and then we'll change our text to black so we can see it. And then let's give this new frame a name. We'll call it button to stay better organized. So now that we've created our basic button, I want to add an icon to this. So I'm just gonna go to assets and I'm using an icon pack that I found on the Figma community tab. So I'll just grab a basic icon. Let's throw in a home icon. We'll just drag and drop that in. And since we're using auto layout, our button adjusts automatically. And of course, if you wanna learn more about auto layout, I have a video on that that I'll link on the screen now so you can learn and master auto layout in Figma. So this is everything I want for my button. So I'm ready to create my component. So I'm going to select my button frame and go up to the top and click this button right here to create a component. Firstly, you'll notice our selection has changed from blue to purple, letting us know that this is a component. And then you'll see this icon in the top left, letting us know that this is a master component. So if we head over to the assets and we drag out a new instance of this button, you'll see that icon is not there. And same thing in the layers panel, it's a hollow diamond instead of the filled in diamond. So the master is what we want to create. And if we update the master, let's say our client wants the buttons to be red, we can update that and all of the instances are automatically updated through your Figma file. So you wanna keep your master somewhere, maybe in its own page or off to the side, it doesn't really matter, but you don't wanna actually use your master in your design. You wanna use an instance of that button instead. So you just wanna drag one out and drop it into your design. And let's say you wanna change the text, you can do so. We're using auto layout, so our button is automatically adjusting and our master is just chilling up here at the top. So let's delete these two instances and we'll dive into variants and properties. So when you select a component, you'll see you have these properties here. If we hit the plus icon, we can create a new variant. Maybe you want to have a hovered variant or a different size for a different size device. You can create that. And then you also have Boolean, instant swap, and text. It can be a little overwhelming at first, but I promise it's actually super easy to set these up. So first let's create a new Boolean. So a Boolean is a true or false statement, and we wanna give this a descriptive name. So let's say, has left icon. And I wanna set that to true and create the property. So when we have our button selected, you'll see under properties, we now have has left icon. And then we have this explanation point letting us know that this is not used. So we haven't actually linked this to anything. So it's not actually working. So what we wanna do is we wanna grab this left icon by double clicking. And with that selected, you'll see here under layer, we have this icon right here to the right of that and we can apply a Boolean property and we can select the one we just created or we can create a new one if we want. But for now, I'm gonna select has left icon. And so you'll notice if I drag out an instance of this button now, let's say this instance, we don't want an icon. Well, we now have this toggle switch, just toggle it off. And we now have just a button with some text. Super easy. That's how you can use a Boolean. Let's say we wanna have an icon on the right. So I can go up here, I can double click on this Command C or Control C to copy it, Command V or Control V to paste that. I'm gonna use my right arrow key just to push that over here on the right. And since we copied this left icon, you'll see that it has a left icon property attached to that. I'm just going to unlink that. And then we can create a new property. So create new property. I'll call this has right icon and we'll give that a true value. And so now when we go to our instance, we now have has left. 
which we can toggle on or off, and has write, which we can toggle on or off. And of course, you could set up a Boolean that says has text and turn off the text in the button as well if you just want like an icon only button. So next, let's go over the text property. So with my button selected, I'll go over here and hit the plus, and then I'll grab the text. So this is just gonna give me an input box where I can change the button text. So I'm just gonna call it text input, and then by default, I want it to say button. So when I create a new button, I just want it to have that set to button, and we'll grab our button here. And this time we'll go to content. You'll see this little field, and we want to attach our text input to that. And so now we have that linked. When I go here to my button, you can see we have this new property called text input, and we can change this to get started, and that value automatically changes. Of course, you can also delete properties just by right-clicking and hitting delete if you find them unnecessary or want to remove them from your component. So finally, let's add an instance swap. So I'll just hit the plus here, and you can see instance swap. So instance swap, and then we'll just call this icon, and then I'm going to select my icon set. And by default, I'm using my house icon. So I'm just gonna grab that and we'll set that. Once again, we have the notification that this is not being used, so we need to link it. So I'll grab my icon here, and then you'll see here that I'm using a component, so I can easily just switch this here if I want, but I want to link this, so I'm just gonna apply instant swap property, and then we set up a property called icon, so we'll grab that. And then I'm also going to set this one up as well. So now with our button, let's turn on our left icon. For example, we can hit this drop down and we can change our icon to whatever we want right here in our button properties, making it super simple to use. Last thing we want to set up is variants. So variants can be super useful when you're prototyping. So let me drag our button that we're using over here off to the side. So I'm going to select my button and then I'm going to go up here and hit the plus icon to add a new variant. So you'll notice that our button now changes to this dashed outline. So if we go to our layers, you can see our button is this new frame that's around these different variants. And you can actually size this and change the scale on this if you would like. I'm just gonna leave it to about that size. And you can also move your variants around in here as well. Just make sure you don't drag them outside of that frame. So you can position these how you like. And what I want to do is, you can see we have this new property created. I'm going to call this state. So I want my default state to have a white background. But then when it's hovered, I want it to change. So we have variant 2 and default. So let's rename variant 2 to hover. And then we'll update this to a different fill color, a slightly gray fill. And now when we select an instance of our button, we now have a new property called state. Or we can change this to hover if we'd like. But for now, I'm going to leave it on default and let's set up our prototype. So swapping to the prototype tab inside of our button component set, I'm just going to grab our white button here and then drag out a new interaction. And then we'll set that to while hovering. And then we want to change to the different state of hover. And so if we just preview that, when I hover over the button, you'll see it changes to our hover state. And when I hover off, it goes back to default. So you can prototype with components super easy as well and add different variants. You can have different sizes or colors. And that's pretty much everything you need to know to start using components in Figma, adding variations, and setting up some custom properties. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe for more Figma and design related content. In the meantime, check out these related videos. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.